Hey, good afternoon, you guys. It's the Leah coming back on here for Friendly Fire. I'm so excited to do this video today. I got inspired by my friend Kylie. Kylie, when you hear this, um, got a shout out for you uh, because she, and I do get a lot of questions about homeschooling and I, a lot of people are just being called to homeschooling right now. It's awesome. And um, my girlfriend Kylie called me yesterday with a bunch of questions about it and it was just so inspiring talking to her about it and getting to share some of the the things about like why God called me to homeschooling and just how he called me and just different stuff like that. So I wanted to do just like a little, I'm not necessarily going to talk about that kind of stuff today. I'll probably do another video for that, but I wanted to do like a quick little day in our life, but not really like a day in our life. It's going to be like five minutes, <laughs> five minutes of like what it looks like in our house doing homeschooling. And so this is my first time kind of doing this little vlog. I've got my girls here behind me. They're doing school. Brooklyn, Blakely, do you guys want to wave? Hi. And this is our little setup that we have going on. This is our school room right now. This is our little school cabinet. Uh, there's a fun story. I might tell that today about how I got this cool thing. Um, but this, this is a great little setup that we have here right now. This is our, you know, being like our homeschool room. We didn't used to have this when I first started homeschooling. Well, when I first started homeschooling, Brooklyn was in preschool. We would just sit together on the couch or we have a little chase in this room. We would sit here sometimes. We would just carve out like a couple hours in our day to do home, to, to do school together. Usually when Blakely was taking her nap because Blakely was a baby at the time. And so that was like our little time together that we would sit and, you know, again, it was preschool. So she was just learning how to read and write and she would just practice those things um, a couple hours a day, maybe, maybe like less than that, like maybe only an hour, hour and a half, depending on the day and what we did. And we had like little science book that we read. We had a little um, learning about animal book that we read. And, you know, I had just picked up little hodgepodge things. Um, we have a homeschool building here where I live and it's really awesome because it supports people that are in the area that do homeschool. You can go there and pick up, uh, purchase like so many different kinds of curriculums or just like if you're priest, you know, doing preschool or kindergarten, you can pick up lots of little resources for doing that there. And there's so much stuff online nowadays that people can, can get for free and downloads and stuff like that. I didn't do any of that kind of thing, but, um, I, I did just do like my own little, um, I guess I don't want to really want to say homemade cur curriculum, but I just would pick like, okay, this is what we're going to do for writing. And like, this is what we're going to do for like for math. We're just going to work on counting and you know, stuff like that for like preschool and kindergarten. And then my kids, um, once Brooklyn was coming out of kindergarten and she was entering into first grade, I had um, my, my son by that time, Bradley. And I just was like, man, how am I going to have time? And I just was really praying about like, how am I going to have time, Lord, for, you know, doing school and set, carving out, out this time to just have this alone time with them and with Blakely too, because I needed to start schooling Blakely. She was coming on preschool age. And I was thinking, how am I going to have time for doing that? You know, and I, I was kind of feeling, I mean, I'll be honest, I was feeling like a little overwhelmed because I had my third baby and he was a little newborn and God really called me to do this, um, what they're doing right here, um, this little video program where they work on laptops. And this, the program that we ch chose to go with is called Abeka, Abeka Academy. It is amazing. It is, for me, it is like giving my children, I mean, what, what it really, I mean, really what it is, like, yes, for me, but for everybody who would choose to do this, it's giving your children like a high quality Christian private education for a fraction of the cost. And you're getting to do it like in your own home, you know, having them, you know, have this high quality, great education, learning so much. It's quite an extensive program. We really enjoyed it. They love it. And I'll get a chance to have them like tell you guys a little bit about why they love it. And they've got some funny little answers what they told me they're going to say. But um, a lot of the things that I've seen them enjoy over the years is just the fact that they get to actually see a teacher on the video. They get to know her, you know, and they get really excited. Like this year, they could not wait to log on and see who their teacher was and find out her name. They get to see like little students that will come up in the front of the class to talk. And they actually talk to the, the kids that are watching on video. They call it the students, they call them the students watching and they'll say hi to the students watching and they get to participate like with the class. And so my girls have just eaten that up. Like they just love it. And both of them at the end of last school year, they cried when they were done. I was like, 
who are you guys? Like when I was in school, I was like, yes, it's the summer. I can't wait to be done. And these guys were like crying because they were going to miss their teacher and they were going to miss the kids in their class. It was just so funny. And I'm like, you guys homeschool, but okay, you're going to miss the kids in your class, you know, because they just, they've gotten to know these little kids that are, um, they're seeing on the video. So it's just so funny. I, I've, I was never like that growing up. I was like, see ya, I'm out of here, it's summer. Like, I want summer. Don't wanna have to do any more school. And my kids like love school. So that is one thing that I love about doing this program and doing homeschooling is that they have, they've grown to love it, to love school. And they're very smart and they're very, you know, ahead of the game. And I think a lot of that has to do with the great curriculum that we're using but also the fact that they're, you know, they're doing it from home. There's no distractions around them. There's no other kids, you know, doing this or that. Um, you know, they just got their one-on-one -on -one time with, with the, the, the teacher there and their little videos. And the teacher will teach on things um, from the video. And then she'll say, okay, now it's time for you to have your, your, do your seat work. And they'll sit there for like five or 10 minutes and do their paper. Then they're done. They put that in the folder and then they move on to the next video. So, yeah, so anyways, let's talk to the girls a minute. Girls, you guys wanna you guys wanna say hi again? And um, Brooklyn, do you like doing homeschool? Yeah. Do you did you were you excited to meet your teacher this year? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, what is your favorite thing about homeschool? What do you enjoy the most? I like um, snacks. <laughs> and what do you do with the snacks? We eat them. Yeah. <laughs> or sometimes um, we go to the table and eat them, but we get to pause our videos whenever we want. Yeah. And get up. Yeah. And pause school. <laughs> <laughs> do we sometimes pause school and sometimes we'll take a little field trip and we'll go do something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like maybe to go to the grocery store. And sometimes we, in some days, we skip school to have field trips with all the other homeschool kids. Yep, that was really fun. We can just take fun days and do that whenever we want, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like your teacher this year? Are you getting to know her? Yeah. And the other kids in your class? Yeah? There's a girl in my class named Noelle. Yeah. What's your favorite subject in, in school? I like health, safety, and manners. Yeah. Why do you like health, safety, and manners? Because it talks about health and safety and manners, and I just like learning that. I like um, learning about eating good foods, and I like to be safe. Cool. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I love hearing their responses. That's awesome. Blakely. So, who is your teacher this year? Um, Miss Howe. Are you so excited? Uh huh. Did Sissy have Miss Howe when she was in first grade? Yeah. yeah. Is she a fun teacher? Yeah. She talks really fun, doesn't she? Yeah, she and Nancy. Miss Howe is, I swear, we don't, me and my husband were just like, when we first met her, she's the first grade teacher, and she enunciates her words so well, and she's so, like, demonstrative, like, for the kids. I mean, we, we were just like, this, that's awesome. Like, whatever caffeine she's on, we want that. <laughs> but you can tell she has a gift. She has a gift for teaching, and she is, like, the perfect type of person to pick for, like, doing a video teaching because she, for, for first graders because she's going to grab their attention and she's going to hold it. It was awesome. So anyways, back to Blakely. Blakely, what's your favorite class so far this year? Um, I don't know what you mean. Like, what's your favorite okay. subject? Like, do you like reading or do you like arithmetic? Um, I like the classroom, like... Oh, learning about the classroom habits and yeah, okay, that's really fun. And the teacher does that just for like the first two or three or four days, I think. And she just talks about like what's, yeah, proper classroom habits and that's really good. Like the good habits and the bad habits. Yep. And you like reading, don't you? Yeah. It's so fun. And what's your favorite thing about doing homeschooling? F R O S T. Live Frosty. Like you said something about how when you're done with school, you get done pretty oh, fast, and then what do you do? I, I don't need to ride the bus, so I just um, can get out of my desk and go to school. Yeah. And then I just go play. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. It's pretty fun, huh? And you like you're a good reader, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of you, honey. <laughs> All right, so that's just like a little bit from them. And I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly like our um our homeschool setup here. This little nifty cabinet was such a blessing from God. I didn't know what to do with our homeschool stuff when I decided to move our homeschool situation into this room. Originally, we, well, like I, I had mentioned before what I did with Brooklyn when she was like in preschool and kindergarten. And then when we started Blakely, they sat at our kitchen table for half the year. And then I kind of felt like, okay, let's make this extra room that we have over here, our homeschool room. So when I did that, I, I set up the school desks and everything, and then I didn't have anywhere to set our books. So I went to um, a little place like where they re resell old furniture and people make it up and then sell it there. That's here in our area. And I found this and I was just really praying like, Lord, like help me find what you know would be the best, the best thing for me for doing this. And I found this and when I saw it like with these drawers, I just knew this was, I just, I just had to have this. I like knew it would work perfectly. And little did I know like really how it would all come together because then God gave me that idea of putting that little sectional thing there and that the top holds books, the middle one we keep empty for papers because sometimes they have papers where they, for one day they'll do the stuff that's on one side and then the next, the next lesson for the next day is on the other side. So then we put those papers in there so they're easy to, um, they're just like easily accessible. Um, when the girls finish their work and I've graded it, they go in these drawers and literally like the whole year, all of their papers can go in there. Um, Blakely's goes on the top, Brooklyn's goes on the bottom. And then at the end of the year, all of their graded papers I can take out and I can put them in like a bin where right now I'm keeping them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue to keep them, but um, so that's what we do. And up here are all of their, um, the books that they use. Uh, from here on over are all Blakely's, and then from here over are, are um, oh no, I said that the wrong way. This is all Blakely's, and then these ones are all Brooklyn's. These are the reading books that they'll do. The smaller ones are reading books that they'll do throughout the whole year. And this is where I tear out all their seat work that they have to do from the different subjects. So that's fun. So kind of what it looks like for me, um, this, this top drawer here holds all of our folders. This is something of kind of how I do it is they have folders for their classes and all the labels here have the, the proper class subject written on there. And then that's where if there is seat work for that class for the day, then it goes in this folder and we make a stack of it and it goes inside their desk. So when they wake up in the morning and they have to do their, um, they want to start their school, they can log in on their, um, on their computer and then they have everything ready and set up in their desk already. So when, like, at Bible is the first class of the day. So after Bible, then it pretty much starts classes where they would have maybe possibly have some seat work to do with the class or after the class. So then they can just pull those folders right out and it's all right there for them. Um, actually, by third grade where Brooklyn is at, they actually encourage the kids to tear out their own stuff. And it's, it's right written in the book to have the kids tear out their own paperwork. I haven't started doing that this year, but I actually had started it already with Brooklyn last year in second grade. So she's already very familiar with reading in the video manual what subject she's on, what papers she needs to find because she was doing it a lot last year. This year, I, you know, we've been doing it in school. This is our second day of school. So I have been tearing them out for her. It, you know, I might keep doing that for a while. It just kind of depends on how busy I maybe might get. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of what I do the night before to kind of get those things ready for them. Uh, let's see if I can switch. So this is like our little chase here where I sit down. This is Blakely's video manual. And then this one right here is Brooklyn's. So I'll just kind of show you from Brooklyn's here what we do. I have a tab where I keep a tab is with uh, this, the, the lesson that they're on currently. So Brooklyn is doing lesson two today. I hope you guys can see this. Um, and as you can see, it says, well, it does talk about getting the seat work ready. You have to go to the back of the book in Appendix A to get the seat, seat work ready for her. And I just put that in the seat work folder. Then it talks about Bible. There's nothing here because there's nothing that you need to get out for Bible, but it does give you some suggestions over here. 
of what to do. And a lot of that, some, most of the time, a lot of those suggestions are for um, a teacher who is maybe using this in a school because a lot of the Christian schools actually use Abeka's yeah. curriculum. Uh, so that could be for what a teacher could possibly need to do in a classroom setting or if you are from home working your whole school program more like a classroom setting. Then we've got, um, you know, the next class after Bible is arithmetic and you'll, you can hear them back there repeating after the, the students, which is very fun because I a lot of times get to hear them reciting things after. I'm just talking about you guys and how cute it is listening to you guys reciting stuff with the, with the video class. So that's kind of fun. Um, so arithmetic, it talks right here to, uh, about what I had to get ready for her today. It said have speed drill for lesson two through five ready. And so I had just torn that out. It says from the arithmetic three tests and speed drills book, I had torn that out last night and put it in her arithmetic folder. It gives you like some instruction instructions here, but that's basically all I had to do was tear that out. I won't go through every single class, but um, so homework reading, there is a little class for that. They haven't really gotten into a lot of that yet, but like if you were a teacher doing this in a classroom, they have um, right here words that they want you to have on the board. Now in the video lessons that my kids are, are doing, the teacher on the video will have all those on the board and the video actually zooms in when the teacher points at the words and has the kids read the words off the board that's that's how it, that would work but if you were in a classroom and you wanted to write these out on your your board you could do that so language it's blank so there's nothing that I necessarily need to do but it says to check language um, page two and that is something that was already set aside in their seat work folder so I don't check it at this time, but my kids set it aside for me, and at the end of the day, I check it over, or a lot of times as we get busy throughout the year, I have a stack at the end of the week, and I just do all the check work at the end of the week, because from what I've found, typically my kids don't get that many things wrong, because they're learning so well, and they're doing so good, they're not really missing much, so they get pretty much everything right, so I don't necessarily have to check everything at the end of the day. <laughs> can you hear Blakely getting louder? So I hope that helps. Um, I'll find that maybe they'll have like one or two things wrong like on, on their math or their arithmetic pages, but typically uh, they don't, there's not many things that I have to correct, so that's kind of nice. Um, you know, penmanship, it says, so I'd have a folder that's labeled penmanship and then it says have cursive writing. Um, that's a book that's titled Cursive Writing Skill Book and just tear out page two and have that ready in their penmanship folder. So hopefully that gives you guys an idea of what I do. I, oh, and I'm dropping my phone. Learning how to video vlog. This is interesting. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I do. I just sit up at night and I get all this stuff ready for them. And then uh, they wake up in the morning and they, they get started and this is what they do. So hopefully this gives people a little bit of an idea of how we run homeschool um, here at our house, how fun it has been for us, and just really what a joy it's been um, getting the chance to be the one teaching them and, and seeing them do all these really cute and fun things and um, just getting to experience it with them, even like grading the papers and getting to be the one seeing their progress and seeing how they're learning. It's really neat. So we love it. Um, one of these days I'll tell the story about how God called me into homeschooling, and that's kind of a fun one too. But if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section under this video. And hope you guys are having a wonderful week. We'll see you later.